All right, everybody, in this video, let's talk about Hollywood Land at Disney California Avengers. So, just the other day, the OC Register dropped an article for California Avengers' 19th anniversary. And, you know, most of the article, they were just kind of going over the history of the park and, you know, the 2012, uh, you know, reimagining and all that good stuff. But there's one part of this article that caught a lot of people's attention. And it's about Hollywood Land specifically. And like I said, they talk, they sat down with the DCA vice president. I'm going to read you this, the, the snippet, and then we're going to talk about it. Okay, and it says here, The studio backlot in Hollywood Land has long been home to Marvel character meet and greets. But the superheroes will soon be moving into the Avengers campus. As the Avengers are moving out, we're certainly looking at, okay, does something need to move in? Does it go back to where it was? Finnegan said of the Hollywood Land backlot. It's very much something that we're talking about. Okay, so basically, you know, their mindset right now at Disney and at Imagineering, you know, they're kind of they're trying to figure out, at least from what he's saying, they're trying to figure out what to do with Hollywood Land. You know, do we do we go full force with Marvel and just put Marvel all in Hollywood Land? Or, you know, do we keep it Hollywood and, and we have more of an eclectic mix of various franchises? Now, here's where I stand on this, okay? I, I, love, I fully support the idea of an Avengers campus. I think it's the right decision for California Adventure. I'm excited for it. I also support the idea of expanding the Avengers campus into Hollywood land, but only so much. Like I would be okay if they, if they expanded Hollywood land, I mean, um, Avengers into like the animation building, maybe into the Hyperion theater. And that's about as far as I want Avengers campus to go. I don't want them. I don't want Marvel to completely take over all of Hollywood land. You know, DCA right now is sort of set up with these big chunks of franchises. You have Pixar Pier, which is all Pixar, Cars Land, which is basically, again, Pixar, and then you're going to have this big chunk of area with all Marvel, right? If Hollywood Land were to completely go in the Marvel direction, you basically have a park that only has two franchises going for it. You know, it would basically be a park completely, comp com completely composed of Marvel, and Pixar. And I find that incredibly boring. I really do. So I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope that if Marvel does encroach into Hollywood land, it's very limited in scope. I really, what I want to see in Hollywood land is I want to see a mix of various things. I would like to see maybe like a Mickey and Minnie, another Mickey and Minnie attraction or something like that, or some other IP or some other franchise at Disney owns that they can put in there even fox stuff i would be supportive putting that into hollywood land i think california adventure needs more variety okay it needs more variety and having so much of the park focused on just two brands of the walt disney company i think is extremely limiting so that's what I hope they do. Now, from his comments, you really can't, in my opinion at least, you really can't tell which way they're going to go. He kind of poses it more as a question other than a comment, right? Like he's sort of saying, what do we do? Do we move the Avengers out of Hollywood land? Do we keep them in there? He's not really answering the question other than we're thinking about it, <laughs> right? We're thinking about it. But, you know, I would like to see something else move in. I personally, and again, this is kind of, water under the bridge at this point but i would have rather have seen the mickey and minnie runaway railway move into hollywood land i think that would have been a perfect addition for that area other than moving to dca i mean other than moving to um, disneyland and again i'm not saying that toontown isn't a great spot for runaway railway it is it's a great spot for it it's arguably like a perfect spot for it theme wise but i think it also would have fit theme wise in hollywood land and i think it would have done more for california adventure than it's going to do for disneyland disneyland does not need another big family e ticket this park disneyland is the most packed park in terms of e-tickets and family attractions than any other disney park on the planet the last thing it needs is another family friendly e-ticket right now it just doesn't, and I know that's probably an unpopular opinion, but Disneyland doesn't need it right now. 
California Adventure, on the hand, other hand, does need that right now. It needs those kind of attractions. But again, that's water under the bridge. I don't want to spend too much time on that because there's nothing we can do about that at this point. But I would like to see California Adventure get some attractions similar to Runaway Railway, you know, along those lines. Other franchises that aren't Pixar, that aren't Marvel, moving in to Hollywood land. That would be my ideal scenario. But we will see. You know, Finnegan saying right now they're still thinking about it. You know, we'll see what the, what they ultimately decide. But what do you guys think about the future of the Hollywood land area at California Adventure? Do you want to see it go full Marvel? Or do you agree with me that you wouldn't mind, it, you know, maybe Marvel encroaching a little bit into Hollywood more? But you don't want it to go full Marvel. You still want to have the Hollywood theme and kind of have other franchises represented. What are your thoughts on this? I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you all so, so much for watching. And as always, have an adventurous day.